Hello, GMA fam. Welcome to Golma Updates. As promised, last time we told you that we will be bringing you updates about what's happening at the mine. I'm here with Eddie and Ruben, and we are going to be discussing the progress that's there so far. I'm sure a lot of people want to understand the work that actually goes into the CIP plant, because we're talking about it like it's a big deal, and for people that might not understand, to them they're thinking, well, what could you possibly need to build such a plant that takes mm -hmm. so much time and resources? Yeah. So right now we're in week one of our program. First of all, we have found a company that's going to be building the CIP plant for us. So that's pretty much sorted. Yep. Right. And we also have a shared role that we're working with. And the first thing that we're doing is site establishment. You know, I did mention it last, last time that um, it's not a matter of just placing the CIP plant randomly. It has to be a strategic location within the, the claim itself. Yeah. yeah. So what do you guys think about the, the amount of time that it's taken to, um, to establish the specific location for the CIP plant? Yeah, I think it's gonna it's going to take an appreciable amount of time. Um, you know, for people not aware, um, in our part of the world is the rainy season, mm -hmm. so uh, you know we have to appreciate that. That you know it's going to like rain does hinder things a bit, mm -hmm. uh, and as you can imagine, it's not exactly ideal conditions to build anything mm -hmm. <laughs> when it's raining. But nevertheless, work has to go on. Uh, yeah. Gold has to be produced, yeah. and therefore, yeah, we, this, as you said, it's not. Um, you're not going to put things randomly. You sort of have to see where things make sense because it is a part of a, it is a constituent part of a larger operation. So right. yeah, where the ore is coming from, where the piles are, you know, and how you process that, like coming from the crushers, the mills and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So it has to be laid out sort of methodically. Mm -hmm. uh, and that takes time. Yeah. And I like the part that, um, <clears throat> that you mentioned that it's, it's a part of, a big operation that's already running. Yeah. What, what I like about what we're doing right now is we've already found where we want to put the plant. Mm -hmm. Most of the work is done as to where it will be situated, mm -hmm. as to how we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's going to hinder us will be Mother Nature, like what Ruben said, where unforeseen circumstances. But we do have a roadmap. We do know that week one, we're supposed to do this. Week two, we're supposed to do this. And as far as we're concerned, we've been, you know, We've been in line with what we've wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we foresee that the rain will hinder a bit. But I know like, uh, the team that we have working at, on the project is actually a very good team. And we'll do whatever it takes to, to get it done. So I'm quite excited about the CIP plant. I mean, do people actually understand what a CIP plant is? Because you know what? It's, it's actually, <laughs> I've noticed one thing. It's actually easy for us who are actually invested into this to just say, oh, we're building a CAP plant. That's right. <laughs> and yeah. uh, the guys who are just watching there. So basically, if I can explain what a CAP plant is, just mm -hmm. in brief, in 10 seconds, a CAP plant is carbon in power plant that works together with cyanidation, yeah. where um, you have carbon particles that are like sponge-like and it incorporates the gold yeah. into it. And basically, it's an easier way to extract gold and we actually get a bigger percentage of our gold out from what we've been losing because most of the time in the whole plant, you might get gold, but in your dump, you're actually losing a lot of gold. Mm -hmm. So as we are trying to get as much gold as we can, that's how we came up to say we want a CIP plant, which would work for us. And I'm actually happy that uh, we've gone through this whole progress because sometimes when you install a when you want to put a CAP plant, your location will actually be will actually hinder your progress because it will not suit exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. That depends with the water you have at the mine. Exactly. That depends with the actual location where you initially install the mine. So I'm happy with the team that we have, Dan and everybody. Mm -hmm. They actually put everything in place way before, way before. Way before so that, <laughs> exactly. So that when we actually want to put a CAP plant, yeah, it will come in this part. Unlike yeah. say, oh my God, 
where we <laughs> where we're going to put the plant because we yeah. we stuck it like that. Yeah. So as far as I'm concerned, um, weather and everything that's going to come, that's you know that's to be expected. Yeah, you know there's that's to be expected. There's, there's nothing we could do about that. But what I'm happy to say is we're going to get there. We have the company. They've given an okay to say you know what this is the perfect location for this and definitely you know it's we good to go. So maybe we can just go with the. Um, Definitely. Yeah. I want to emphasize more on the work that goes into building the CIP oh. plant because, you know, we might not actually understand the resources, time, money, yeah. you know, and manpower that goes into building the mm -hmm. plant of this nature. First of all, for the leach and carbon tanks and hard stands and fence, you need uh, gravel. For hard stand about um, 165 uh, cubic meters that's a lot of gravel yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That's, imagine 165 yeah. cubic meters yeah. and you need a tipper yep. to be able to you know to use to transport and put that at on site you also need uh, concrete for apparently it has to be readily mixed like ready mix mm -hmm. concrete grade 30 doesn't come cheap either. 68 cubic meters. Yeah. And then there's weld mesh. And that's just for like the leaching tanks to build those and the, the carbon tanks. Now you have the bonding wall, right? You need an excavation for strip foundation and sump. You need bricks bund and sump. You need uh, brick reinforcement. Yep. You need concrete strip piping. And I don't even want to mention the, the amounts oh, yeah. that you need. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It's out of it. But then at the end of the day, it's worth what we're trying to achieve. Yep. You know, we'll be able to achieve what we want to achieve. The most important factor that we need is time. You know? In my mind, I'm visualizing a 24-7, around-the-clock type of operation to get it done on time. Yes. And it looks like the company is willing to put in the time yep. so that we're way ahead of schedule, you know, because this will be very, very good in terms of boosting our profits at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Once we're able, able to recover gold at such a higher, um, a higher standard. Yeah. So there's a lot that goes into it. I'm sure you guys have seen that with our economic climate, there, there are things that you can't just find. It takes time. Perhaps with some supplies, you have to order in advance. Yes, that's What that's are some true. of the things that you may anticipate to wait for? Perhaps whilst the supply is importing it into the country or getting enough supply? I would say um, hardware. Most of the hardware, mm -hmm. actually. Um, Chemicals, mm -hmm. we're going to need chemicals to do most of the things. Uh, our industry is not in the best state. We're actually trying to revamp it in our country, which means we're going to import most of the stuff. Mm -hmm. So as, as foresight, I see having a bit of a problem there, but that's nothing we can't handle. You know, it might delay border and stuff, but uh, I think chemical at the most, then hardware secondly. Okay. Yeah. yeah, something along those lines. But um, I think I'm a little bit more optimistic about local industry than, than, than Eddie. <laughs> I think, yeah, you know, definitely it would be a miss for me to say that everything is perfect. But I do want to vouch for the effort that uh, yeah. miss for me to say that everything is perfect. But I do want to vouch for the effort that uh, yeah. local contractors, local suppliers are putting mm -hmm. um, to make sure that all these things are available. And we have to put this, of course, in the context of, let's say, the gold sector in this yeah. country. We've had uh, this year, I believe, will be a record year um, for gold output. So it's tough for our suppliers to bring stuff in. But at the same time, they've proven themselves that they're ready to assist other, you know, yeah. functioning gold mines to, yeah. to, 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 to produce. So yeah. there are challenges indeed. But, you know, the future is looking bright. It is indeed. Absolutely. So for those that are wondering why we're making such a fuss about the CIP plant, I guess we're just trying to take you 
with us to the mine, even though we can't physically be there. We are going to be bringing you visuals so you guys can see every single step of what we've done so far. Like what I mentioned earlier, we've already uh, done the demarcation stage. So now we know where it's going to be and we've already put like a sketch of the of the plan of the plant into action to see what goes where. So certain areas are marked already as we speak at the mine. So we're going to be bringing you that so you guys can see why, um, why Goldma is putting so much effort into building the plant and why it takes such a long time. It's a tedious process. And also just to, to give people insight into the challenges of gold mining. Yeah. You know, processing gold is not as easy as um, ABC, as they say. Yeah, if it was, because, everybody would be able to do it, right? Yeah, <laughs> there are a lot of challenges and uh, a lot of people ask, why don't you do it this way? Why don't you do it this way? And maybe you might not understand that we have to work with what we have, first of all. We are a growing mining company. You know, we, we can't compete on the level of the big conglo conglomerates, but we will get there uh, in all in due time. Of course we will. However, the work that goes into producing the amount of gold that we're producing at the moment should not be taken for granted. And the only way for you guys to maybe understand is if you actually see everything yeah. from the beginning not to mention the just the running costs alone you know because we have to have a backup plan for power we need fuel we need diesel to put into our generator and it's currently guzzling 40 liters correct me if i'm wrong per hour yeah per hour yeah now that is just yeah yeah at, at this capacity yeah. now once the cip plant is running we're going to need a lot more power. Yeah. You see what we're saying. So for those that wondered, you know, what do you really need all that ICO money for? There it is. You know, there's a lot that goes into bringing gold. And I think that's why it's so precious. It's because of the process that it takes to extract it, to process it into a final product. Indeed. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what this is? Do you know how I translate CIP plant? I translate it as a way to increase royalties. I mean, just imagine. Yeah. At, at the point we are right now, yes, royalties will be there. Everybody's going to get royalties. Mm -hmm. But if we're able to make the CIP plant go well, mm -hmm. what does that mean for the royalties? Exactly. That means more. So I actually think guys out there need to be very, very interested in this. That's... Anything that we're going to do, whether we're going to get more ball mills, whatnot, just know the more things we install into the mine, the more your royalties are. Yeah. Don't sell your golden goose. Exactly. <laughs> Wait for the eggs. You, you know? know? Yeah. Exactly. I like that. Thank you for that. All right. Because I know, obviously, there are people that want to know, like, how do you guys plan to add value to your token? And this is exactly Th that's, that's exactly it. That yeah. So you're going to be seeing us talking a lot more about the mind because that's the actual value that we're transferring into the digital space any other updates that you guys might want to share with the rest of the world i'm good right for me i would say this what we're doing here is mainly for you guys who cannot come directly to the mine but if you're able to take a flight come to zimbabwe you're welcome to come and see it personally so that's the update i have for everybody well, it looks like we've concluded our Goldman updates. We'll be bringing you more as soon as we get more news. Whatever little development that we can share with you guys, we'll definitely make it a point to do so to keep you in the loop and to keep uh, an open two-way communication. Any questions that you may have, you are most welcome to direct them to our Telegram group and also to our Facebook and Twitter and all our social media platforms. Not forgetting to comments as well in the comment section below any remarks any questions and if you did like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel we are about to leave yeah lunch. until next time bye gma peeps